Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, if you remember, in December 2011, you met in this uh, uh, forum, you met uh, Kobler, the Special Representative of Secretary General. When he went back to Baghdad on 28th of uh, December 2011, he sent a code cable to New York, to the HQ of the United Nations. What does he say? He said that uh, the PMOI, supported by a powerful number of parliamentarians from Europe and America, are winning the battle of information. Therefore, we need to set up a strategy to counter this propaganda of the PMOI, and we need to set the whole uh, frame for holding them accountable. I have the code cable for those who would be interested in seeing it. So the United Nations have closed its eyes and its ears. They never heard that the PMOI has been delisted from all the countries, whether in Europe or in America. So here we are, the United Nations perpetrating the stigma of terrorism against uh, defenseless people brought by the United Nations into a detention center called Liberty. This is a very serious allegation and it comes within the context of the code cable addressed to the United Nations in December 2011. So these allegations, and as a former chief of human rights, I could confirm to you that we had never investigated or independently verified any information we place in that report. I'm telling you, the code cable is there to confirm that they are there to support al Maliki's regime in doing whatever he does, and we've been always receiving instructions on how to report and not to be offensive against al Maliki's regime. We don't expect the United Nations to protect, but we expect them to be impartial in their reporting. Impartiality is an obligation, and if they don't do it, they're part of the crimes committed against this, uh, the Ashrafis. I thank you very much, Mr. President.